hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about why being a hemodialysis technician is not for you so if you're interested then stick to bitch in your trap and take over over name another bitch that's cold name another I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wise, I had my money getting older. Oh, that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. And that bitch, and I thought that it told you. That bitch. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just say this in the beginning because I haven't said it in my other videos. These videos of why something is not for you is not saying, hey, you can't do this. This is not this is not for you. These are con this video or these videos are to are for people to consider before going into the field that they're about to go to, phlebotomy, clinical assistant, whatever. I'm not saying that these things means you can't be what you wanna be or you can't do it. You can overcome all these things, but these things are the main reason why people don't go into phlebotomy, clinical lab assistant, whatever the video is about. So if you have these problems, but you still wanna go for it, go for it. I'm just letting you guys know, okay? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go straight into the video. Okay, so I was a hemodialysis technician for about six months. Y'all, it was a struggle. Um, it's fast paced and I'm used to fast paced. This cake work. But this, but this was a different type of fast paced. Like this was fast, fast paced. So if you do not, if you're not into fast paced work, always on your feet, back to back, this is not the job for you. Because when your patients come in, you have a set schedule. Your patient needs to be on the machine at a certain time. Meaning, if your patient is five minutes late off the machine, that is harm to them because they need to get that fluid off their body. Um, now, if you get them in a machine on the machine late, you can add time to their time so they can get their full treatment. But most of the times, they're sitting there. They're in the waiting room. They're waiting on you. And then when you finally get them back, they don't want to wait longer in their chair. So they're not going to do their full time. So if you're not, if fast pace is not for you or you're just very slow and a perfectionist, not saying that you have to go fast and make mistakes, but if you're a perfectionist to where you take a long time, like you keep going over and over and over it, this might not be the job for you because you have to move fast. Not saying move fast and inaccurate, but you have to be accurate and move fast. So if you have troubles, if you have trouble growing in a fast paced environment this is probably not the job for you not saying that you can't pick your pace up because you can but this is a fast-paced job dialysis is very fast-paced very 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 okay so the second reason is if you're scared of big needles or if you're scared to use big needles on people older people people in general there's older people and there's younger people in the dialysis um clinics but if you're scared to use 16s, 15s, 17s, 14s, this is not for you. Because this is all dialysis use. Dialysis use huge needles. Huge needles. They're huge. I couldn't, I don't, I, kudos to all of them. Because Denia, how scared of I am of needles, I could never. Like, honestly, I could never. But if you're scared of using needles on people or you're scared of using huge needles on people, this is not the job for you because you have to use most of the patients. You have to cannulate or stick them. Um, some of them have catheters. Some of them don't. But you have to stick them. So if you're scared of using big needles on people, I mean, you can overcome that fear, but you're going to use needles. Um, the, that brings me to my third reason. They have catheters. If you're unsure, if you, some people don't like seeing things outside of a human body, um, catheters or some people, some not saying people, I don't know how to put it. Some people are scared to do certain things to certain people because they feel like they will cause more harm. Not going to lie. When I first started dialysis, I did not like the catheter and i didn't like the catheter not because oh it's catheter it looks weird da, da, da. i didn't like the catheter because i didn't want to be too harsh like doing what needs to be done with the catheter i didn't want to pull it out i was scared it was going to fall out i honestly liked learning new things with the catheter and dialysis and stuff like that like they can have a catheter up here they can have the catheter in their thigh 
they can have a catheter anywhere but my whole reason of being nervous was me pulling too hard and it's sliding out because catheters can slide out um it can slide out during treatment that's why you have to tape it up the catheter can slide out so that's what i was more nervous about but i overcame that but i am i'm gonna just say when you're nervous you're more gentle but if you do not like catheters this may not be the job for you because you're going to be dealing with catheters not everybody is a stick a lot of people are catheters um because some people's fistulas might mess up or their um grafts might mess up so they get they get catheters so if you're uncomfortable with the catheter you can overcome that but if you're like really like yo i can't do this then this job is not for you because you will be dealing with catheters on a daily basis okay okay if you do not like being around older people this is not a job for you because dialysis has a lot of older people not saying that it's only older people there is young people there's middle aged people and there's older people but it's mostly older people um so if you do not like working with older people then it's not a job for you because it's just like it's all kinds of people in dialysis so and the main people are older people so if you do not like older people then this is not just not gonna click like why put yourself in that predicament where it's not gonna click it's just not gonna click another reason why dialysis is not for you um if you don't have patience patience every medical job you need patience this job you need patience patience like yes patience will rush you they'll be like you need to hurry up i need to get in my chair i need to do my time da 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 right then when you finally get them back there, they're walking slow. They looking around. They going to talk to their friends. They come back. Then they stretch a little bit. Then they get their clothes situated. Some of them put blankets on the chair. Then they got to sit in their chair. They got to make sure they get comfortable. So they got to get up and sit back down. Make sure they're comfortable. Get up, sit back down. Make sure they're comfortable. And then they're ready. You have to have patience. Because you can't just be like, uh-uh. Come on. Because you want the patients to be comfortable. They have to sit there for hours. So I kind of understand, but then it's just like, I get to the point where I do it for them. Like I'll set up the chair for them. I will um, put the TV where they want, want it to be. Instead of them doing it, cause they're gonna do it a little bit slower. I'll do it all for them. Like some, like after a while, you will learn your patience because you see these same patients every week, unless somebody passes away, God forbid, or somebody new comes in. But you see these patients every week, at least twice a week. Three times a week depending on the patient so it's just like you get to learn your patience so before they even come in half of the times you'll have everything ready but if you do not have patience this is not a job for you that's why you have to learn your patience you got to get to know your patients yes they're gonna nag then they're gonna be friendly that's just the bipolar and people in general that's just people people gonna be mean people gonna be nice then people gonna be mean and nice it's just people in general so once you get to learn your patients, you'll know what they want and how they want it. And you will already have it done. And then you will start getting your flow and your pace of the job. And then you will have to like listen to them because some of them hate. Some of them were just diagnosed with dialysis. So some feel like, why did God put me here? Why do I have to go through this? And nobody else going through this. So they're a little snappy. So you have to be patient, for, patient, patient with them because... They're going to be attacking any and everybody and you just have to be like, okay, this person is in this situation. I understand. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Okay, so y'all make sure y'all keep that in mind when dealing with the dialysis patients. If you do not like seeing people deteriorate, 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 deteriorate in health. I don't know if I said it right. What I mean is, I mean, it happens in the medical field when you're working in a hospital. You'll see people, like, come in well or they're sick and they come in. You think, okay, they're going to get better and they get way worse and then they pass away. Um, Oh, don't get emotional. Mm. When working in dialysis, you will see patients start to get worse. So if you cannot like take that, like if you're a real sentimental person, you get real attached to your patients, this may not be the job for you. I mean, you can just like, you know, work through it, but you will always be emotional, not always, but when something happens to one of your patients. 
um, patients will pass away. Patients will not come to street treatment and then come to treatment and then get really, really sick and pass away. Um, patients will come in walking with two legs, fine. Mm, to one or two months later, they lose a finger. One or two months later, they lose a toe. One or two months later, they'll lose their whole leg. One or two months later, they'll lose both legs. Next thing you know, their mind is not like in the right state. And then next thing you know, they pass away. So it's just like, if you do, if you get really attached to your patients and you're just like, man, I can't, if you're trying to find another job to where you don't get attached to patients, this is not the job for you because you will get attached to your patients. And when they pass away, you will feel it. Like so many patients passed away. It's, it's, it's crazy, but it does happen. It is life. So, but you, you're, when dialysis, you're really like closer. I'm not going to say closer, but you're right there because it's not like in the hospital where you see these people for a couple days and then they move to a different unit and then they move to a different unit and then they move to a different unit and then they pass away and then they're, you know, these people come like two, three times a week. So you're seeing, they're like, they're like family, you're always seeing them. You're always talking to them. So when months go by, you talking and giggling with this person, you fight with this person, not fight with you, you fussing with this person you're trying to get them to understand that you gotta do what you gotta do da, 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 da. and then you laugh and joke with this person and you even cry with this person when they pass away it's just like dang like i was really just with this person like for months so it will really hit you in dialysis so if you i'll say i would say you can give it a try but you will get attached to your patients that's just something that happens it's it's just it is what it is if you can't pay attention to detail this is not the job for you because okay with dialysis you have to make sure they're on the right bath you got to make sure they have the right needle you got to make sure the machine is set up correctly you got to watch your lines and make sure you connect the lines correctly or you can mess up this patient's catheter their their fistula their graph you have to make sure you do everything precisely so it's just like if you cannot pay attention to detail or you cannot critical think, this is not the job for you. I mean, you can learn that stuff, but you have to really like pay attention. Like say, for instance, I'm talking to a coworker, da 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 da. You're supposed to do your rounds of your patients every 30 minutes, take their blood pressure, everything. I'm going I'm to do an example. Okay, so I'm talking to this coworker, da da da. We talking, we just laughing, da da da. I go do my rounds. One of my patients is real pale. They're like, they're just sitting there, they're blank and they're pale. And I said, what's wrong, are you okay? They said, yeah, I'm fine, it's whatever. This, this I always get like this, da 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 da. So then me, I start to walk off, but I walk off into the corner and I, I look back, the patient seems like they're getting paler and paler. So I run back over there and I press their blood pressure cuff. Their blood pressure, is falling down fast so the first thing i do is i stop pulling their blood i return their blood and i give them some saline because they may be pulling too much and then i call a nurse if you can't pay attention to details like this this is not a job for you because people dialysis some dialysis patients already feel like hey i'm already a burden i don't want to be here most of my days and I don't want to ask them for nothing or if something's wrong they don't want to ask they don't want to ask for help or ask me a question or whatever so you really have to get it out of them like what's wrong or figure out what's wrong um like when i was doing dialysis one of my patients foot was bleeding the person didn't even know it was bleeding i notified the nurse they got it handled and everything it's just certain things you have to pay attention to um when my partner, my coworker goes on break, I have to check their pod and my pod. So when I check their pod, I notice that the patient's pump speed is not right and their goal, their pull fluid goal is not right. So I fix it and I let the nurse know and then I let the tech know that came back and they made a mistake. So it's just like you have to pay attention because their lives are in your hands. If you cannot play, if you cannot pay, play, then I can't talk. If you cannot pay close attention, this is not for you because you have to. You really have to like think of think every patient. Think of if it was you. 
you would want people to pay attention, right? So you need to pay attention to every little detail about these patients. What size needle? How much fluid do they need to be on a special bath? You need to be you need to be on your P's and Q's when dealing with these patients. That's just point blank, period. Um, the last thing I'm gonna say is if you do not like being around blood, y'all, blood spurts everywhere and everywhere. Everywhere and anywhere in dialysis. Um, you can accidentally leave the catheter open and it will spill everywhere. Um the needle can come out. You can not hook the lines tight enough and then the blood will pour out. A lot of things can happen with blood. So if you do not like blood, this is not a job for you, baby. Okay? Sheesh, y'all, if, if you feel like you can overcome your fear of blood, then go for it. But don't set yourself up for failure just to, like, be on your first date and just be like, you know what, I can't do this, okay? So you do deal with a lot of blood um, with the needles and the catheters. Oh, that brings me to my last. I, I know the other one was my last one, but this is my really last one. This brings me to my next reason. You are around HIV, STDs, and hepatitis, and other diseases. You're dealing with blood. You're dealing with needles. You're dealing with catheters. You're not saying you're going to get it if you deal with these people, but if you do not take the proper precautions when sticking or doing the catheter, you will stick yourself and you will contract something if not caught right away. Okay, so if anything that happens, like you stick yourself or anything you want to let the nurse know, they need to draw your blood and the patient's blood and y'all need to figure out who got what, if anybody even have anything. And if you do, you need to get that fixed. So it's just like you are around disease. It's just like, like a phlebotomist job. Um, and you do need to wear your PPE. So if that's not something you want to do, if... You really, some people really hate PPE. So if you do not want to wear your mask, you don't want to wear your goggles, you don't want to put your hair back, you don't want to wear your lab coat, whatever, this is not a job for you because you have to wear those things. If you want to protect yourself to keep from getting anything a patient may have, wear your stuff. It's just as simple as that. And that's all I got for this video. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. We're coming back to back to back to back to back with these videos, guys. So, so. We're coming back to back to back to back with these videos, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and the content. Just like I'm enjoying editing and putting them out for you. So, keep your mask on. Keep your hands washed. Stay safe. Stay cautious. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.